the Yasakas is TVE365 and this, this will be an, a story time episode but this will be a little bit a little bit different than my previous episodes this one um, I'm going to be telling you guys a little short stories that really don't fit in with the rest of the story times usually my story times I like to have a beginning a middle and maybe some backstory maybe like a message at the end but these ones are just kind of like short little things that don't really know how to explain just kind of happy i'm just like whoa it's kind of like real life shenanigans if you think about it there's random moments in my life that really are just weird you know like those moments that are just like once in a lifetime stuff or really weird stuff that happens but um this first episode we're going to focus mostly on ghost stories and man i don't really like to talk about no dang ghost stories man because i just think i'm the person in the ghost movies that'd be like man this stuff is not real let's just leave let's not stay around try to mess with this let's get out of here i'm the get out of here type of person in the ghost thing so i don't really like to talk about ghosts i just like to say they probably do exist but i'm not gonna mess with them i'm gonna try to just stay out their way so let's get right into it so be first i'm gonna try to say like three stories ghost stories but i don't know how many it's gonna be uh this video is like nine minutes i try to upload this video at night time i'm gonna be gone all day so you guys are gonna get in into the day but if you guys want to wait till nighttime, maybe a little bit more scarier. Uh, <laughs> I know watching some 2K video looking. Whatever, man. That's a good ride to go story. First one we're going to talk about. So, I'm at home. Me and my brother. My older brother. Which if, is basically like I'm home alone. Because he just sits in his room all day. And he, me, he may come out here and there to put his dogs outside. But that's pretty much it. He's mostly, um, what's it called? Just sitting in his room. So, when I'm home alone, I'm usually in my mom's room on her computer. Because my laptop sucks my stupid dog oh, well that's another story but my laptop sucks so i'm on my mom's computer that's why i usually edit my let's see videos and any videos i'm on camera that's what i'm usually doing so finish editing or whatever i go and i, I just go surfing your tv channel see what's on tv you know looking around because um i want to see what's on tv because i never watch tv ever i don't i don't know why i just can't get into t any tv shows like i'm not a tv person so i went to go see if i could maybe find something on tv i'm looking around looking around I see Twilight One is on, you know, the with the werewolf and the vampire. I see that's on, so I'm like, I'm gonna make a little funny Snapchat video of me watching Twilight, you know, like me like just sneaking around watching Twilight. I don't know, just something funny, a little something light, you know what I'm saying? So I would get my phone, record it for Snapchat, get the video, yada yada, and I hear someone coming upstairs. I'm like that must be our brother. I want to see him. I'll see. I want him to see me watching Twilight, right? So I'm looking for the remote, looking for the remote to change the channel. I can't find the remote. Then I don't know where. TV turns off by itself. <sighs> Goes black. I can't find it. It was completely pitch black in my mom's room. Because all I only light that was on. I turned off the computer because I was done editing. And now it's just a TV light. No other lights on. Like 8 p.m. at night. Pitch black in the room. I still hear steps up the door. Up the stairs. I still I still hear steps. Do, do, do. And I hear little steps, so I know it's my brother because he has his dog with him. My brother goes. He kind of walks up to my mom's room because I see his shadow through the door and then walks away because he probably sees my mom's not home. Walks back downstairs. I'm still freaking out right now looking for the remote. I'm kind of in shock because like, why did my TV just turn off? Is there someone in the room with me? Like, what just happened? And then, I don't know where the TV turns itself back on. And I'm just like, what just happened? Like, what? Like, I was like, I, I froze up. I really, like, I always thought when a scary situation would happen, I'll do the typical black guy thing and just book it out the room. But I legit just froze. Like, I was sitting there, like, when the TV turned off, I was just sitting there laying on my mom's bed, just like, what just happened? Like, I didn't do what I thought I would do, was just book it out the room. I was just like, wow, like, that was weird. Like, I don't know. That was just really, that, that was a really, really, I guess you could say ghost story. Because that never has happened. I talked to my mom, like, does your TV ever turn off by itself and then turn itself back on? Nope. She said it never happened. And she got her TV black friday so maybe it was just like a <laughs> that was still cheap tvs but like it was weird it, it, the weird thing about it i was looking to change the channel and it turned off itself like it knew well, i don't know i don't know i'm getting too deep into this but that's the first one let's get into the next one most of these happen when i'm home alone too so um this is a story that if you guys looked at my videos um, you may have probably heard or hopefully you guys didn't hear this one. I mean, hopefully you guys, I know wish you guys are watching my videos, but if you didn't hear this one, it's good. It makes this video better, but most of my friends have heard this one. So I'm playing NBA 2K in my park one day. I'm playing my park and, um, usually my mom goes and takes my brothers and sisters to school in the morning. She always tells me to do a couple of things so I can help her out. So when she gets home, she's not stressing out. She had to do all this stuff. So she tells me, Marcus, 
put the clothes in the dryer. All right, that's all she said. Easiest thing, easy. Like it's simple. Like just put the clothes in the dryer. But typical, acting like a kid fashion. I procrastinate, procrastinate, procrastinate. So I'm on 2K16 live streaming for the first time. I mean, I don't know why I'm just messing around live streaming, live streaming with some friends, and I completely forget about I'm supposed to put the clothes in the dryer. So some time passes, like an hour or two. And I, I hear knocking on the, I, I don't hear knocking on the door. Wait, do I hear knocking on the door? No, 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 no. I hear he, I hear the door opening, the door unlocking. I hear my dogs barking. So did someone come in the door? I'm like, it has to be our mom because she has the keys and the dogs are barking. It has to be our mom. There has to be someone at the door. So I, I'm, I'm in the middle of a 2K game and my door is closed. So I'm like, I'm not, it's a my part game too. So I'm not going to just quit the game. I'm going to be like, I'm just going to take the punishment, take the L to maybe get the W in my part. So I was just like, sorry, mom, I forgot, whatever. So I hear, I think I hear the door open. I'm not for sure. I don't remember if I hear the door open, but the key stopped jangling and every, all that stops. The dog started barking. All right. And then next thing I hear a couple minutes later, knocking on my door, but it's like a real, kind of like it's like two or three knocks it's two or three knocks i go wait a minute i'll be there in a minute and the score is like 17 to 19 at this time so we're about to win the game we got the 19 points um and then whatever or like a few 30 seconds pass we win the game i go all right you can come in no no answer i open the door no one there i go downstairs look for our mom not there i'm like what the heck just happened and then, oh yeah, then I forgot to take, oh man. All right, so right after I open the door, I walk to walk around, the AC just turns itself on. Now this, this is not, I don't know if this is a ghost story because the AC sometimes turns itself on, but it has to be like really hot. And it was in the morning, so it was not hot enough for it to turn itself on. So I don't know what was wrong with that. Turns itself on, dogs, stop, dogs, dogs are doing fine. I don't know why they were barking, but who knocked on my door? Who was in the house? Like, what just happened? Like, I, I just don't know what happened. Like, these stories I just don't get. Oh, shoot, sorry, seven minutes only got the second one. All right, so that's the second one. That was kind of creepy. I don't know what that was. That was weird. Uh, <laughs> Dang, I, I had to let me give you a second to think of the last one. Get this one, the last one. Sorry, I, I didn't think how scary that was until I actually, like, said it in person. That was really scary. Like, I don't know, man. Oh, give me a second. All right, I got the last one. This one is a... <laughs> This one's a weird one too, man. I'm telling you, dogs. If you get dogs, they will. It raises your paranormal activity levels or some crap. I don't know, man. But let me see if I can tell this one. That's a quick one. So, um, if you guys see my dog named Ashley, she's like the beagle I had in my in my videos in the past. We had to sell her, unfortunately. Her mom didn't like. Well, that's a, that's a, I don't want to talk about that. Man. That's a it's a sad story. But um, I had her, and then one night. I remember this one night, um, I was chilling playing Fallout 4 alone. And then my dog starts shaking crazy. I mean, just start shaking. Like, she's shaking. Having, like, the shivers. And then, like, just freaking out on my bed. Just on my bed, just shaking. Shaking. I'm like, what the heck is going on with my dog? Like, what's going on? And she starts shaking. And then I, I'm just like, this is getting annoying. I don't like my dog shaking like this. So I go on her. I go on her. I start petting her, you know? I'm like, I don't want her to be scared, so I start petting her, petting her, petting her, and she starts to calm down. Then she hops off my bed, looks in the corner, just starts barking at the corner of my room. <laughs> and then she jumps, and then she starts crying. Uh, she just barking at the corner of the room. I swear, oh my god! I gotta tell the story. This is scary. She starts barking at my corner of the room. <laughs> then she starts getting scared again. Then she starts crying now. Books it out my room. What the? I join her too. I book it out my room. I run. We both run downstairs. She runs downstairs and she lays on her bed downstairs. She's shivering now. She's shivering again. I'm like, I'm not going upstairs. I'm, why is she barking like at the corner of my room? So I think I'm in the. I don't know if I text my friends or someone. My friends in the kick chat. I don't know which group. I'm in so many different groups. You know, I'm, I'm with the clicks. You know. Okay, let's, let's stop messing around. I don't know who I text, but I say, what happens if your dog starts shivering? It says two things. She's pregnant. Or there's paranormal activities in your house. Or there's something ghostly stuff. But it was like a veterinarian site. It wasn't like some dogs possessed. It was a vet official a veterinarian site. It was like either she's pregnant. Or 
she's there's paranormal activities now this dog is not neutered all right she's not neutered so it was a possibility she could be pregnant but with, with dog but what dog we have three dogs in my house one's a girl and one's a boy but he he got neutered before right when we got him it was like a requirement he get neutered so he she can't be pregnant so it's paranormal activity that's the only thing only way why she's shivering there's no other way and i'm just like what's going on and, she, and then so I go upstairs finally, get the courage to go upstairs, room is empty, nothing's changed at all. My dog will not go upstairs, she is stuck downstairs shivering on her little bed, will not go upstairs. Um, so this is like at 3 a.m. at night too, this was like 2 a.m. at night, forgot to say that, 2 a.m. at night, like what the heck is going on, why is she downstairs just shivering? So uh, I just leave her downstairs, I turn off the lights and leave her downstairs. So oh my gosh, I forgot how scary this story is. but. All right, so I go upstairs. I'm about to knock out. It's 2 a.m. But I know I want my dog to be safe. So I go out. All the lights are off. So I go upstairs, turn off all the lights. I lay in my bed. I'm like, this dog is a bad dog sometimes. Sometimes she'll get in the trash can and just mess everything up. So I, you know what I'll do? I'm going to go check on her. Open the door, turn on the lights. I see her just walking around the downstairs. Tail between her legs. Her, yeah, tail between her legs, just walking, looking around. I'm like, hell no, what the heck is going on? And like, let me give you guys a scenario. So downstairs is completely dark. Upstairs is light. So I see this dog just walk around in complete darkness. Like, what the heck? And after that, I'm just like, I'm I'm thinking I don't want to mess with anything down there. There's some paranormal stuff going on. I'm just going to go to sleep. And in the morning, I'll see what happens. So go to sleep. Didn't have any bad dreams. Didn't have anything happen that, that night. Dog didn't come upstairs. Go downstairs and my brothers told me she came in his room. And that was pretty much it, man. This video went way longer than I expected. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the stories. If you guys want more ghost stories, I got I don't think I have any more. I think I have maybe some few like a curtain moving, but those are the top three scariest. I didn't know they were that scary until I retold them to you guys. So hope you guys like the video. It's TB365 and out. Sorry.